Welcome to Scorched Earth. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon and Ascendant for the month of February. Um, hope you're all well. If you don't know what your Moon or Ascendant signs are, have a look in the description box below. There's a link down there that will help you. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I do take them, but I'm working on quite a backlog at the moment. So um, my email address is also in the description box. Feel free to get in touch, but it might take me a week or so to get back to you. Um, because I'm pretty swamped at the moment, actually. <clears throat> awesome issue to have, but um, yeah, it's taking a bit of getting through. So bear with me, please be patient. Um, what else to tell you? Oh, thank you for your comments, your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your messages, your comments, your donations, all of it. Like, I greatly appreciate every single last bit. It's the highlight of my month, twice a month, and I get to interact with you all. Um, and I very much appreciate all of you, so thank you for that. Right, um, oh, Mercury Retrograde is happening in February. It's like towards the end of February, I think. So um, don't panic, it's not a big deal. Um, you just may find that old things come back for a second go. And they can be people, they can be situations, they can be even emotional states, actually. You know, things that you thought you'd dealt with that you haven't come there to kind of resurface but it's an opportunity for you to deal with those things it's happening to you no it's not happening to you it's happening for you you know that's a game changer when you start looking at things that way around <clears throat> so deal with it let it go move on um just don't try and try not to start anything new is is the advice generally so you know new jobs new relationships stuff like that and if you do have to start a new job or something like that make sure you check the fine print before you sign up to anything too um, challenging, shall we say. Right, that's quite enough blather from me. Let's get three cards for Pisces, please. Oh, there's the first one. Oh, wonderful. It's a card of Sagittarius. It's Temperance. It's number 14 in the Major Arcana. I love that card. It's a beautiful card. It's got quite a Piscean energy to it, I think, because it looks like a mermaid. There's a mermaid there next to the well and the little totem that I have for you that I meditate on before I start the reading. It's a couple of little, you can see that, a couple of little mermaids. So entirely fitting, I think. But two more cards for Pisces, please, for February. Ooh. Seven of Wands. It's fire energy. <clears throat> That's Leo or Sagittarius as well, actually. No, I think about it. I can't remember quite which one. Another card for Pisces, please, for February. Oh, that one. Seven of Swords. That's air energy right there. Right. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the Eight of Cups. It talks away about moving away from things that are um, no longer serving you. <clears throat> it's walking away from emotional things that um, actually aren't doing you any good anymore. And directly underneath, we've got the Six of Pentacles, which talks about balancing things out. So... That's quite interesting. Um, right, which deck for Yahoo? Always, always for the Pisces, this deck. It's the John Bauer. Absolutely adore this deck. It's, um, it's, it's quite, quite beautiful. And I'm planning to do um, some kind of flick through type videos because I've got some really exquisite decks. And some of them are quite obscure because they've got them in places like Kickstarter or something like that. <clears throat> and they don't have nearly the uh, level of exposure that it should have for just how wonderful they are. And this is definitely one of the decks that I will be putting in one of those videos. So if you're a bit of a tarot nerd or an artist, and you know, I know a few Pisceans and they're all kind of arty, then this might be something that you're interested in. So. Nice temperance here for oops, nice temperance here for Pisces, please. I really want it to come out. I've got the four of cups underneath. Stop it. Thank you. And the Knight of Pentacles there. Virgo energy. That's quite interesting. There's the seven of wands here for Pisces, please. Harriet, it's a card of cancer. Scorpio just had that too. <clears throat> Seven of Wands. 
and the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Love it. There's a Seven of Swords here for Pisces, please. This deck has been springing all over the place today. There's a Seven of Swords here for Pisces, please. Oh, Temperance again. Interesting. This is Seven of Swords here, please. Pisces. And the Three of Cups. Beautiful. I think this is going to be a really nice reading. At the bottom of this deck, we've got the Two of Swords. That talks about making a choice. Sometimes. <clears throat> so, the first card you've got, like I said, is the card of Sagittarius. It's Temperance. And this card's wonderful for all sorts of reasons. Not least for me, the fact that it's a fire energy card, being Sagittarius, right? But it's always depicted with lots of water on it. And this one looks like it's it's literally underwater. Okay? There's an alchemy in this. But for me, the Temperance card comes up when because it's number 14 and that reduces down to five and five is about conflict and it's about you know unpleasant uncomfortable change temperance i like to see come out after it talks about healing from something that's been uncomfortable you know a change a shift of some description that's left you feeling quite unstable when this card comes out afterwards it's about you regaining your balance it's about pulling everything back to where it's supposed to be it's it's very peaceful actually particularly this one, this depiction of temperance. But, I mean, they all are, really. But that fire and water balance is really, really important because, you know, too much water and you'll put fire out and too much fire and you'll turn the water to steam. You know, there's, a, there's a happy balance somewhere. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming that there is one because there's this alchemical idea to this card. But it can talk about patience as well, and it can talk about treating yourself more kindly than perhaps you have done at points in the past. The two cards that you've got to, to clarify are the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Cups usually, for me, talks about taking things for granted the rejection of offers, things like that. But the art on the John Bauer deck suggests something slightly different to me. And that woman, she sat there, and if you can see, you probably won't, the camera probably won't pick it up. But she sat there, uh, rather than looking despondent, she actually looks like she, she sat cuddling herself in, in a little, <clears throat> she's, got, she's got the most beautiful expression on her face and on her hands next to her. And she's just, it's like she's nursing a secret. You know, she's taken herself off into the woods. She's sat at the edge of a lake. More lake. Well, not lake here. She's sat at the edge of a lake in the woods so that she can quietly sit and smile to herself about a secret that she's holding, you know, and it's cups. So it's something emotional, you know, and she just, it looks to me like she's, she's secretly in love with someone and she's, you know, she's maybe just found out that this person likes her too, but it's a secret or something like that. You know, it's, you'll have to take it as it resonates to you, but it feels like there's a, there's a secret thing that has actually helped you balance yourself out a little bit in there. And you're not ready to reveal it to the world yet. But it's almost like the joy that she's feeling from this is enough to illuminate her in the middle of this dark forest. You know, the light seems to be radiating from her rather than coming from anywhere else. <clears throat> and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, I don't generally like this knight very much. I'm not a fan of the Pentacle suit at all, anyway. But this something quite noble about this Knight of 
pentacles. The earth, the earth suit is slow, right? It's not sparky like fire, and it's not sloshy like water can be. So water can be sometimes it can be a trickle, and sometimes it can be a raging tsunami. You know, it's 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 got the power of both within. Earth energy is always very slow. It's always very methodical. Right? There's no drama with it. Everything happens to a prescribed kind of formula. Right? <clears throat> Everything takes a predefined amount of time. And sometimes you can speed things up a little bit with the addition of a bit more light, you know, a bit more heat. Sometimes you slow it down by removing those things. But ultimately, there's kind of a, a set pattern to it. Everything is built in a particular order. But because of that, it's very dependable. You know, sometimes fire just goes out like that. And you can stand there and you know, try and rub two sticks together and, and kindle it back up again. And, and sometimes it just doesn't happen. Like, it's dependable. This night is the one that you use if you want to get a job done and absolutely be assured that the job will be done. But I'm drawn to the fact that, uh, that these two characters are kind of facing each other. Sort of. The horse is facing this way. And this character is sat on the horse, but is kind of looking away. It's almost like he's pretending not to notice this person sat down here. Having a little moment to herself. Indulging herself in a little secret smile. This could be incoming news. It could be news that you'd have, you've had about work, possibly. That's the thing. Maybe you're having to keep it quiet at the moment. It could be a person, and strictly it would be Virgo, but it could be Capricorn or Taurus as well. It's possible. Because these resources, it can talk about the things that, that you have in the 3D. Right? You'll, have to, you'll have to fill in the gaps for you. But whatever this situation is, it's led you to an internal balancing. It's led you to feel more patient about your life. Yeah. It's made you feel quite peaceful. I like that. But then we have this energy here. Now, <clears throat> sometimes this can be quite a stern defense of energy or protective energy, right? Because this dude, he's, he's got his feet firmly planted in the water, you know, he's got his stick up, like a full Gandalf, you shall not pass kind of thing. <clears throat> and he's being attacked by invisible assailants underneath with their rods, right? Throwing the ones at him. And because he's got his feet planted in so much water, I've just noticed for the first time that his other foot actually isn't in the water and he's kneeling on the rock. Never noticed that before. He's actually kneeling. Uh, on the legs. So just kind of go over there. <clears throat> this can be a card of taking the high ground. It can be a card of defending people and, you know, yourself and your values and your emotions and stuff like that. All I'm hearing is, is just that you're keeping quiet about something. You've created a boundary. And you're not even saying anything about it. You haven't even... <clears throat> you haven't told anybody that, that, that this boundary is here and that you're hiding behind it. You've got something behind this boundary that has some level of emotional investment because you stood in the water. Like, it's just there. Like, you're keeping it quiet. I'm quite surprised the High Priestess isn't, because I get a real High Priestess vibe about this, which is bizarre, because I've never had this feeling off this card before. I 
have to pull in the cards, you know, because uh, I will in a second, actually, but not yet. And I'm going to use the shadow scapes to do it. The reason for this energy is the chariot and the ten of cups. Right? The chariot is about moving forward in, you know, swift, decisive victory. And it's another seven, like the seven of wands there. And then the ten of cups, which is complete emotional fulfillment. And this character in the chariot is headed off towards this woman who sat in the woods. Like they're, po they're all pointing the same way. Right? The character on the horse in the, the Knight of Pentacles is going towards this woman sat in the woods, smiling to herself. This character on this, this funny little beast here is also headed off in the same way. And this woman on the horse, right, she's going that way as well. There's a sense of movement. There's something that you're going to be moving towards fairly soon, but the time is not right yet, and the time to tell people about it is not right yet either. But there is the promise of complete emotional fulfillment for what it is that you're about to do, but you can't tell anyone about it. I just hopped out there because the tower, it's gonna to be a big shock for the people around you when you do. It's also the card of Scorpio, so there might be a Scorpio involved somewhere. Oh, what are you? Two of Wands. Yeah, and Temperance. Good Lord. Everything is still very much in the planning stage. And you haven't divulged this information to anyone yet because you know it's going to be a massive shock when you do. But you're busy. Busy, busy, busy planning it. And Temperance. The time is not yet right to tell people. Sorry if I just keep going silent, like I'm, I'm just musing on all of this. It's really, really interesting. And so the Seven of Wands is this barrier, this to this information that you created to everybody else. Hmm. This temperance has come out three times now in your reading. It's great patience, great patience there, but great healing from this card as well. Whatever this is, whatever, because temperance is now in every spot, past, present, and future. Whatever this is that you're involved in here, it has the capacity to heal you on, on a level that you have not experienced, probably ever, actually. And I can see you chomping at the bit, kinda, to get on with it, but you're not, and you're not telling anyone about it. But Ten of Pentacles, it's gonna be a really big deal. For the rest of February, they've got the Seven of Swords. Now, some people call this the Thief card, and I don't like that. I've never liked that, because I think it's really difficult to ascertain what motive these people have got here. Like, they're clearly stealing swords and they're fucking off with them. But there could be quite a noble reason why they're doing it. You, you cannot ascertain motivation here. So for me, rather than it being the Thief card, thief card it talks about taking a risk. Right? I feel like the presence of the child on the card makes that a thing as well. You know, maybe they're stealing these swords so that there's an, not a wholesale mass massacre of the next morning, you know, <clears throat> of innocent people. It's taking a risk. Are you going to take some a risk on something in the month of February? And then we've got Temperance again, and we've got the Three of Cups, uh, Three of Cups, right there. I'm losing the ability to speak as I'm doing this reading. It's almost like I want to keep your secret for you. <clears throat> I think you're going to take a risk and you're going to share this information with some people, but trusted people, like people that you hold really close, that you know can be trusted with this information. Because this dude here in this temperance card, you know, he looks like he's made of the water. 
It's just his eyes and his nose peeking out over the top, right? But he's looking at this collection of people here. And this character here looks just like this woman here. Okay, it could be the same woman. I think you're gonna let some people know what your plans are. More about temperance and the three of cups. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, you're planning a new start. And it's a tangible new start in the in the 3D, like it's gonna be going to be <clears throat> unmistakably a new start so ace of pentacles can be you know a new job it can be relocating you know getting a new house but it's something quite profound you wouldn't be keeping it this secret if it wasn't that profound the, the thing that's just flipped there is the nine of cups and that's wish fulfillment right there. tell me more about the three of cups and temperance what's this risk Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. right, so apparently I'm not going to get any more cards until I talk about these ones. <clears throat> it's not going to be common knowledge. You're not letting it out to lots of people because you're still keeping it very, very close to your chest. All right, smog. Guarding this this secret, this gold right here, but you are going to reveal it to two, maybe three really trusted close people. I'm really intrigued to know what it is that could be so secret that you cannot tell anybody about it. Learn more about this, please. Ace of Cups. Mm. Well, I'm just going to throw it out there. It could be a baby. It could be a new baby. Because I mean, we've got the Ace of Cups. Somebody could be pregnant. That's possible. One more card. Fuck. Sorry. <clears throat> I just flew across a million cards. I took half the other deck with it. Pentacles. Two of cups. Two of swords. Two of swords again, right? That's that's two decks where you've got the two of swords at the bottom. Right there. So you've got the ace, you've got two aces right here. You've got the ace of pentacles, then the four of pentacles, then the ace of cups, right? So this is a new love of something, right? And it could be something, someone, yourself, or a, a renewal of love for those things, right? <clears throat> two cards of new starts right there. A card of keeping it really, really close to your chest still, even though you're letting a couple of trusted people mm -hmm. in to it and it could be a new life it could be you know a new baby whatever and then we've got the five of pentacles and the two of cups now the five of pentacles usually talks about poverty of some description you know and that can be resources that can be money and all that kind of thing but it, it can be emotional resources right or it can be a fear of those things so i think that the reason why you're keeping it quiet is because you're afraid you might lose it if whatever it is, if you tell people about it, you know, may, this is an opportunity of some description, like maybe part of you, you know, receiving that is, is agreeing to keep it quiet. Maybe it's a new job and you've signed a non-disclosure about something, you know, maybe you've got a high level government job or something like that and you can't even tell people that you work for them as something. But then we've got the two of cups, right? And that's a partnership of some description. It doesn't have to be romantic, and quite the fact quite often it's not romantic. The Ace of Cups being there says it could be. But also the Ace of Pentacles, this could be a new business partnership. Something like that. You have to take it as it resonates to you. <sighs> but 
it feels like this has been a little while coming like this this has been brewing for a while and there's great excitement about it from you but you are keeping it very close to your chest I have three cards of advice for Pisces please Ooh, three of ones Ten of Wands in reverse, right? So soon, soon. We've got the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Like I feel like very soon the burden of keeping this all quiet will be lifted. Very soon, I get hearing that. Very soon, very soon, and you're going to be able to let it, let people know, the important people know about it, and you're going to. Yeah. There's a lot of emotion connected to this. Can you swell of emotion about it? Oh, you'll have to fill me in because I'm absolutely baffled by this, but there's there's a really strong emotional aspect to this that I can't quite pin down. But I love it. I'm just gonna leave it there because it seems like the cards aren't gonna tell me anymore because it's not my secret, and that's fine, I respect that. That's not a problem. But, yeah. If it resonated, I'd love it if you'd let me know. And you don't have to comment or message or anything like that, just like the video or something like that. Nobody nobody can see who's liked a video, so it's a secret, it's fine. Um, <clears throat> and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you did, and just fucking enlighten me, someone, because this is... Or not, or not. I respect your silence. It's cool. Um, but yeah, failing that, I will be back for the mid months in about a fortnight. Take care.